What up, you guys? It's me again. Um, sorry, I keep having a cramp on my side. Um, better go to sleep soon in a few hours, probably. Um, um, anyways, why didn't why don't you celebrate salvation every single day? Celebrate that Jesus saved your soul from hell. Celebrate it. Celebrate sal salvation every day. How do you celebrate it, you ask? Simply thank God. Thank Jesus. Thank God for sending his only one begotten son to die in the world for our all of our sins to save us from going to hell and pray to Jesus thanking him you know, thanking him just that he saved you for all who believe completely place their trust in him as the only way to salvation God the Father and Jesus promises to save us if we place our faith in him and trust in what he's done on the cross to pay for our sins. The ABCs of salvation. Admit to Lord Jesus Christ that you are a sinner. A. Believe in your heart that he died on, this, died on the cross, was buried and resurrected on the third day by God. B. S Confess the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and ask Him to save you and give you the Holy Spirit. See, so if you mean those with all your heart, He saved you. It is that simple, you guys. To be born again, it is so easy. It takes less than a minute if you mean it with all your heart. It's not a life of devotion or whatever. He, uh, Jesus on the cross say it said it is finished once we place our faith in him, it's a done deal we're saved there's no turning away from that you can fall away but you can't lose your salvation and Hebrews 10 26 that terrified me so long because I did exactly what it said what it says even after I got saved but God has showed me that Hebrews 10.26 does not mean what it sounds like. I have a full video of that. Go look on my channel. Hebrews 10.26 explained detailed videos like 30 minutes, 32 minutes long or something like that. So, no, um, excuse me, sorry. I paint my kitchen, so it's I'm a little sleepy because my arms are tired because painting it hurts my arms, you know, with the the rolly thing. The rolly thing, I put a lot of pressure on that so I could get a lot of because if I don't, the paint won't go on the wall as hard as uh, as easy unless if I do it really hard, and if I do it really hard, my my hand starts hurting. And then my arm will eventually too because I just keep doing it. So that's how you paint though. That's how I paint I should say. But anyways, yeah, celebrate salvation. If you're a true Christian, somebody who's placed their faith in Lord Jesus Christ for what he has done for you on the cross to save you from a burning hell for all eternity, thank him that he saved you. If you think you're a good person and going to heaven, that's wrong. The only way to heaven is Jesus Christ. I am the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody comes to the Father but through me. Being a good person is not a relationship with Jesus. He does not know who you are if you're just a good person but don't know him. You have to receive him by faith. You have to. That's the only way then he'll bring you in a relationship with him. It's the only way, guys. 
repent and accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior believe, by believing what he did for you on the cross with all your heart. Time is short, guys. The rapture could happen at any, any day um, or his second coming, I should say. So, it's very close. The gates of heaven are closing very, very soon. You got to make sure that you're saved. Because once those gates close... <sighs> once the gates of heaven close... Everybody who's been saved... Will... Are in the gates of heaven. Are going to be accepted. But those who are unsaved... Once those gates close, y'all, heaven is going to be out of their reach for eternity. Once they die, they're going to knock on the gates of heaven, God's front door. And they're going to, God's going to tell them, I don't know you. You're a stranger. And there's no place for you here. That's unfortunate. God's going to tell you, I never knew you. Depart from me. He cursed into the everlasting fire, prepared for his de the devil and his angels. That's what he's going to have to tell you if you're not saved. If you think you know Jesus just by being a good person, you're dead wrong. To know Jesus Christ is to accept for what, accept that he died on the cross for your sins. To believe in your heart. That what he did on the cross for you was the is the only way to heaven. You have to push all other ways to, uh, to heaven aside and only receive him. Because he is the only way. He is the only light that shines the path to heaven. He's the only light in the entire eternal spiritual or physical world or whatever that leads to the path to everlasting life. If you don't have the light that, le that leads to everlasting life, you have no light, which is what's the opposite of light, darkness. You have the darkness that's on the path to hell, that's on the path to darkness, to outer darkness. So you need the light. You need the only light to, of salvation to be on the path to heaven. If you don't have that, if you don't have the light to lead that leads to heaven, you have the darkness that will send you to hell forever. You don't want to go to hell. Trust me. It is more horrific than you can ever imagine. And it's all eternity. Never ending. Ever. The scariest thing that you can ever think of. The scariest nightmare you've ever had. Uh, if you've witnessed a murder, anything that's ever scared you so bad in this life, multiply that by 10 billion. And that's what hell is. And then eventually in the lake of fire, which is even worse for all eternity. Never ending fear and pain and torment. torment. Now, if you're smart, you would accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. It takes less than a minute if you mean it with all your heart, and he saves you for all eternity. Do you want to spend eternity in hell? Or do you want to spend less than a minute and get saved for eternity? Exactly. You want to get saved. So, I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I'll talk to you later.